In this section, we're going to be talking about the Delete Object API for S3. Uh, this API does about what you would expect. It just deletes the object from your bucket. Um, so if we look at the documentation here, um, they, they comment a little bit about versions. So if you're using versioning, then there's some semantics that you need to worry about. Uh, for instance, if you delete the most recent version, then the, the latest version now becomes the most recent. So there's some, some interesting details there. Uh, but if you're not using versioning, then this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just call the delete object using the uh, bucket name and the key ID, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like when you're using the um, S3 SDK for Node.js. Oh, and, and obviously you need the correct permission here, uh, S3 delete object. One thing to note as well, before I show you the example, it's also the delete objects API. So this is more than one. Uh, so if you need to delete a couple things at once or even a lot, you can use the, the um, delete objects API to do that. So let's take a look at what it looks like just for deleting one. Um, so we just define a params object, which has the bucket ID, a bucket key and a value, and then the key and the file name. And then you just call the delete object API um, with the input object. You get a callback. If it's an error or data, you just log it out and see what you get. Uh, you don't really get anything meaningful in the success case. So this is uh, what you'd expect from the response. So I hope this video was useful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.